So for the past two months, I have been low-key killing a lot of revs. I've always wanted to get the rev items, the weapons and stuff, because they are best in slot, and I'm all about best in slot items on Iron Bar. So yeah, I finally found the motivation and energy to get my ass in the wilderness, you know, and just go through that grind. After a lot of dying and stress at the wilderness, I'm happy to say that we're finally done, and I can't wait to show you guys all the revenant progress throughout the next few weeks. Let's set a like goal for this video. If this video reaches 5,000 likes, you will have my genuine thank you. And I will try to edit and release the next Revenant progress video within five days. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So to start with the Revenants, we're going to uh, use a magic short bow with Amethyst Arrows. I will also be messing around with the Rune Crossbow and Dragonstone Bolts as well. Uh, yeah, there's a few methods like 2 to 1 and stuff like that that I need to figure out what is more optimal But ideally and so I get a rough weapon. We're gonna stick with this might think about using a blowpipe I only have one unfortunately, but uh, we'll see if I want to switch into that eventually But for now we're testing the waters with you know some more safe items So full disclosure, I do have some people Occasionally protecting me because every single world at revs is pretty much dominated by clans and uh, yeah, it's pretty much if you want to get drops of revs on an Ironman, you, you don't have a choice. So it is what it is. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And yeah, kill some revs and hope for some uh, good luck. Hey, we just got our first Revenant bracelet. We're going to be getting a lot of these. But uh, yeah, the first one's super important because uh, I can wear it and not take any damage from the revenants. As long as I keep it charged, which should be no problem. As I get the ether uh, from killing them anyways. So it'll keep... Uh, replenishing itself hello this is me from the future i just want to let you guys know that most of these events happen before they change the revs a bit with the uh, bracelet being now 75 percent damage reduction instead of 100 percent i'm quite a noob with the revenants so i'm not gonna lie but uh yeah there is the auto absorb option on your bracelet you turn it on and it will automatically use up the ether that you get from killing the revs which is super nice so the revenants do drop a revenant helper scroll which does send you directly to the caves but i don't have too many as i just started so the best way for me to get there currently is uh by making myself a canoe the waka waka so yeah that's what i do I go to edgeville and then bring a bronze axe you know make the waka boat and then go all the way to level 3 wilderness which is only a short walk from the entrance to revs Alright, so I did about uh, 4 hours of reps tonight, and um, yeah, I made a good amount of money, uh, well, simplified loot-wise. We did 2.3 at the Demons, 4.4 at the Orcs. So, you know, we're talking like 7 mil right here, and then 1.3, 8 mil right there. So, let's just say like, yeah, give or take 9 mil in like 4 hours with MSB. So yeah, man, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Oh, engine medallion, bruh, four mil. Yeah, let's fucking dip. Peace out, bro. Yeah, dude, let's go. Four mil, I think, right? Yeah, nice. Yep, yep, it says four mil. <laughs> give me, give me. That's kind of cool. More blood runes, GP. Haha. <laughs> So, somebody or a group of people managed to uh, troll and despear the revenant all the way to the black dragons. They normally cannot go there, but yeah, these revenants are super glitchy. Like, the way their AI works is just, it's hard to explain. Like, sometimes you'll be fighting them and they're aggressive towards you, and then all of a sudden they just stop attacking and they, they just run away. It's just really, really weird. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my blowpipe. Uh, so right now it's like the most chill time from what I've uh, investigated, you know, doing a few days so far. So I'm gonna bring the blowpipe. I only have one again, but I should be okay. Uh, as long as I keep my protect item up, I'm, I'm decently used to that. And yeah, just orb myself down. If I get hit by a clan, I should be fine. So I am bringing quite the risk even if I don't lose the blowpipe because I will lose the sow for sure with the blowpipe in my inventory so that means uh, every time I die and lose the sow it's about like 20-ish minutes of nightmare zone for me so yeah don't want to lose that either but it's not, you know, I just hope I don't die too often 
Oh, oh my god, it's got Ancient Relic. Whoa, oh, what the hell? First kill back. Day was made. Let's go. In yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a Mary J. I'm a Mary J, boys. So you might be asking, why am I scold? I'm just killing monsters. I'm not PKing. So why am I risking, you know, being scold and potentially losing a lot more items than... I could save if I wasn't. Well, you see, revenants are really uh, interesting. There's definitely a risk to reward uh, element to the revs in terms of the coding. If you are scold and you're killing revs, you have a three times increased chance of getting a unique item like the uh, crossbow or like Vigora's Mace. For example, Revenant Dragon has a base crossbow rate of 1 in 40,000 on scold. But if you are scold, it is a 1 in 14,000. It goes from stupid rare to a lot less rare, but still rare. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's insane. For somebody like me that are looking for the uniques, it's definitely a must to be sculpted. But it is well worth the risk. And also the statuettes too is impacted by being sculpted. You get higher tier statuettes uh, more often being sculpted versus Dot as well. Oh my god, ancient statuette. Holy balls. I'm outie, boys. The RNG's back. Today's been rough, man. Died a few times, and yeah, just really hard to uh, get kills today. But I'm definitely happy that we managed to get something good. All right, how many res are we at? Okay, how do we check? Uh, other, other. Alrighty, revenants. 1.6 kills. Not even that much. <laughs> no, not that much, bro. <laughs> not bad, man. Pretty good spoils so far. So I'm still using MSB Rune Crossbow a lot just because uh, I just can't afford to bring out the Blowpipe too often with a lot of the PKers being active most of the time. So once in a while, you know, we bring the Blowpipe. But I've been trying to figure out the best ways to use the uh, easier to get weapons. And the best way to use them is, uh, well, especially with the MSB, is this 2 to 1 strat. You do 2 hits with MSB, then you hide behind an obstacle as you see in the clip. What that does is, it slows down the rev's attacks, and uh, also it's healing. It heals a lot, so the less uh, it heals, the faster you can kill it, so the MSB is really nice for that. But uh, anything that is like, say, Knight and Dragon though, you don't really want to, you know, use MSB or Rune Crossbow. They just heal so much, and your DPS is just so bad. The only way I was dealing with the Knight and the Dragon without a Blowpipe was doing 2-1 to one with both MSB and Rune Crossbow. So the first hits would be the MSB, and then the second hit would be the Rune Crossbow with Dragon and Stone Bolts. A lot of clicking, but it does do the job decently. But yeah, you really want Blowpipe or like the Rev weapons for those, for sure. Oh, wait, you statue it. Holy shit. Peace! Peace! Out. Yeah, yeah, you won't die. <gasps> Oh, I just got the four mil. Let's go. Oh, right before my skull ran out, dude. What the? Oh, ancient medallion. Oh, I'm sorry, Hayes. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Nice. Another one. Come here, you. Oh, I can get the skull. <laughs> oh my god. So the blowpipe is awesome at the revs especially against the knight and the dragon because the uh msb and rune crossbow is a struggle on those guys but yeah coupled with the south amulet because these guys are ghosts you get that 20 percent accuracy and damage the blowpipe just annihilates but yeah it's really risky man always uh, risking the south when uh using the blowpipe even with protect item oh my god I just got ancient relic oh my god oh my god yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I just got ancient relic Oh my god, second one. <gasps> I just got an 8 mil- Oh f*** you, Rev, you froze me! Are you kidding me? Yo, you bitch, are you kidding me, bro? Right as I, I get the effigy, I freaking get frozen. Are you kidding me? I'll just yoink. Oh wait, I'm the Avarice! Where, where the f*** is that? No, that is actually- That's actually my first- First, first unique. Wow, dude. Yeah, I just got that. Wow, I didn't even see it on the ground because it wasn't even highlighted. Like, well, actually, it was, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, that's actually nuts. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how to feel, but I guess first unique. 
Oh my god, a medallion. Wow, dude. Holy shit. I'm teleblocked though for two minutes, so I can't even tell you right now. An easy way to deal with teleblock, I guess, in this instance, is I can actually just log off and the timer will still run off on its own. So I have like two minutes left. And just to be safe, you know, with that extra risk I'm carrying, I'm staying logged off for two minutes. I log back in and I can instantly teleport out. Oh my god, damn it, I got an ancient statue. I just got here. Oh my lord. <laughs> Alright, boys, made a big mistake. It's my day off from streaming, and uh, usually I turn on the recorder when I start, you know, my streaming stuff. But yeah, I wasn't streaming, so I kind of forgot about that, you know, muscle memory. And something big happened. Missed some good clips, I ain't gonna lie. Some big stuff happened, alright? Let me click on my revs, alright? You guys ready? Alright, just, just think for a second. What, what I'm about to show you, you know? Just guess. Alright, three, two, one. Check it out! Oh my god! Yep, we got our first weapon, dude. Um, it was around this KC, like 6,000 something. But yeah, we got ourselves a cross. That's crazy, man. The first weapon uh, for us happens to be like the best in terms of just camping there. Using it there is so good. That's awesome, dude. So yeah, going forward, Killing revs is gonna be uh, way easier. Pretty awesome. And here it is in the bank. Hell yeah. Holy shit, I gotta break some bracelets, dude. God damn. So the Ethereum bracelets can be dismantled for 250 ether, and the rev weapons, right, requires these ethers in order to be used. I think it is one ether per shot. So essentially, if I want to use these rev weapons, even after I get it for a long time, I'm gonna have to do a lot of revs so I can keep, you know, recharging it uh, through these bracelets, pretty much. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. All right, let's talk about how awesome this crossbow is. Holy shit, it is absolutely next level, man. And I thought the blowpipe was more than adequate, but god damn, this thing just absolutely just dunks on on everything and anything. Like, the dragons and the knights only feel slightly more annoying than the other mobs, you know, whereas they used to be dramatically uh, slower to kill. Yeah, seriously, the crossbow, uh, three ticks, MSB speed, basically. Hits 50s. Yeah, no joke, 50s. It's crazy. You know what's so crazy about the crossbow? It's still the second best DPS choice, even without a salve amulet. Even the other rev weapons like the mace and stuff can't even outclass it even with a salve together. So if I die with a crossbow but I don't have a salve on me, then I just lose 1500 ether. And it's not that big of a deal because I feel like it's better than losing a salve, which takes about 20 minutes of work to get back. So, so yeah, the rev grind is going to be really, really uh, chill going forward. So I think this is a pretty good stopping point for this prize video as uh, I have accumulated quite a lot of rev kills. 8,626 kills. The loot couldn't have been any better, honestly. No complaints. A crossbow, a avarice, uh, a few totems, you know, 260 mils, 18 mil, 4, 4 mils, and 7, 2 mils, 250 um, bracelets. A lot of teleports, and you know, enough to just keep going back pretty much forever. And yeah, plenty of ether charges, guys. Plenty of ether charges. So if you look at the right, you'll see the rune light tracker of all the drops I got from the revs, all 8,000 of them. And I think at this point, the total value is probably somewhere between 100 and 200 mil, just, you know, quickly uh, looking at the price values here. But yeah, most of the money is going to come from the totems and the rune armors uh, and of course the dragon equipment as well like the skirts and the legs so yeah a lot of the money is going to come from those and of course you get a good amount of resources you get a lot of ores you get a lot of uh, construction materials um, you also get like the magic seeds that they're, they're pretty decent on an iron man i suppose but yeah a bunch of other resources i'm not going to go too much more into detail because you guys can just pause the video and yeah just have a look in depth if you would like but lots of good stuff from revs man definitely uh for what it's worth it's uh, something to consider you know killing for sure if you guys enjoyed today's video definitely consider giving it a like but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i do have a french chat so if you guys need a place to hang out definitely consider joining ours at mr iron bar 
and also consider subscribing that way you won't miss on future videos if you do have amazon prime you can actually support my work financially for free by going on my twitch channel and subscribing using twitch prime anyways i will see you guys soon with another video take care and bye bye